Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the Scientific TV. So today we are going to present on cardiovascular diseases. So first we are going to look at some key facts. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death globally. An estimated 17.9 million people died from cardiovascular diseases in 2019, representing 32% of all global deaths. Of this death, it's 5% were due to heart attack and stroke. Over three quarters of cardiovascular diseases death take place in low and middle income countries. Of the 17 million premature deaths under the age of 70 due to non communicable diseases in 2019, 38% were caused by cardiovascular diseases. Most of cardiovascular diseases can be prevented by addressing behavioral risk factors such as tobacco use, unhealthy diet, and obesity, physical inactivity, and harmful use of alcohol. It is important to detect cardiovascular diseases as early as possible so that the management with counseling and medicine can begin. So this particular diagram we are going to look at some of the statistics, including dates and causes of the global date and the risk factors. So we, as we can see here, we have about 18.6 million deaths every year from cardiovascular diseases. And 33% of all global deaths we are due to these cardiovascular diseases, whereas about greater than 75% of cardiovascular diseases that take place in low and middle income countries. Global causes of death. So as we can see here, we have uh, these cardiovascular diseases, which we have about 18.6 million, and then we have cancer causes about 10 million, while respiratory diseases causes about 3.7 million, while HIV uh, causes death of about 1 million. So the next thing we are going to look at is the risk factors for cardiovascular diseases. So one of the risk factors for this cardiovascular disease is high blood pressure. So high blood pressure is one of the factors which causes this cardiovascular diseases. And then we have unhealthy diet, uh, cholesterol, diabetes, uh, overweight and obesity, uh, use of tobacco, uh, air pollution, kidney diseases, physical inactivity, and harmful use of alcohol. So these are the causes, risks of cardiovascular diseases. So we have different types of cardiovascular diseases. Uh, because these cardiovascular diseases are disorders which are causes, so which are causes by these risk factors. So we have so many of these disorders. One of them is we have coronary heart diseases a disease of the blood vessels supplying the heart muscles, and then we also have cerebrovascular diseases, a disease of the blood vessels supplying the brain. We have peripheral arterial diseases, a disease of the blood supplying the arms and legs. And then we have rheumatic diseases, heart diseases, uh, which are due to the damage of the heart muscles and heart valves from rheumatic fever uh, caused by streptococcal bacteria. So, um, another one is we have the congenital heart diseases, which are, are, are due to the back defects that, uh, that affect the normal development and functioning of the heart caused by malformation of the heart structure from bats. And then we have deep vein uh, thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, which result due to blood clots in the leg bends uh, which can dislodge and move to the heart and lungs. So the basic medicines which are used for this cardiovascular disease. Now patients with cardiovascular disease should have access to appropriate technology and medication. Now this basic medicine that should be available include the aspirin and then we have the beta blockers 
and then we have angiotensin combating enzymes inhibitors and the statins. Then the surgical operation that are required to treat cardiovascular diseases. Now some of the cardiovascular diseases require this particular surgical operation which include we have the coronary artery bypass which can also be done to uh, treat these cardiovascular diseases. We have balloon angioplasty where a small balloon like the device is threaded through an artery to open the blockage and then we also have the belt repair and, and replacement and then we have heart transplantation and then we have artificial heart operation so thank you for